So let's go for the speed test to see how the bike actually perform. Actually, acceleration pretty cool. Uh, easy to get 20 miles on the short distance, but let's see how fast actually I can go. Kind of really nice without pedaling. And let's get started from here, as always. See how much, I don't need to switch pedal assist, anything. Just throttle, let's go. It's uh, about 12 on GPS, I'll go with GPS, 16 on GPS, 19 on GPS, 20 on GPS, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. GPS show me 28, very stable on display. All right. So it looks like uh, display does not show me correct information as a speed wise. It's kind of stuck under 26 miles, but let's go this direction. All right, so it was 28 this way, and now I'm going up uh, back. And see, usually it's about one or two miles difference because uh, this way a little bit uh, going like more downhill, so more flat, I guess. Uh, let's try it and see how fast it will go this direction as well. So I'll do two directions to make sure the mileage kind of accurate and uh, let's go and I'm gonna go with the GPS speed because more accurate so it's about 15 miles very good acceleration 19 22 23 24 26 27 28 29 So 29 miles an hour based on GPS, which is uh, pretty good actually. Uh, I'm not sure why temperature is 117 degree. I think because of sun going on the battery and maybe this temperature from the battery. I'm not 100% sure, we'll need to check it out. But 29 miles an hour, actually it's pretty nice. Let's go for a ride and see how the brakes works. Uh, so far, I mean, it's working good, but let's see how the cruising. Um, it's actually a different experience riding this bike. Uh, after uh, like hurricane, if you can call it, we got some trees fall off. Uh, we didn't have much rain, but still a lot of trees fall off. Anyways, it's a nice acceleration. I feel like uh, really like mud cycle. You can call it like motorcycle, a little motorcycle. It's not as fast as motorcycle, 29 miles an hour. But it's very comfortable to sitting, very stable on the road, uh, very good balancing. And um, let's try to see how the braking on this bike. Because the brake is mechanical, they don't squeak at all, which is good. So they're not squeaky brakes, like people usually complain, they got squeaking brakes from some bikes. This one is pretty quiet. And let's go about 20 miles and see how the brake will work, if they can lock the wheel, and then... Okay, already 24 miles, so I'll brake right now. Uh, it cannot really lock the wheel completely. It takes a little bit longer as any mechanical brakes because it's not hydraulic. So it would be nice to have on the powerful bike like this hydraulic brakes, but they are not bad brakes. They are pretty much just decent. Like uh, they are not squeaking, they're stopping, but again, they are not stopping as powerful as uh, hydraulic brakes. You have to press very hard to stop. The seat actually very soft and I like the seat, uh, it's very nice. So the rear suspension, it's uh, not bad. I thought it's going to be much stiffer, but actually it's not bad at all. Um, riding in the city it should be a lot of fun on this bike. Off-road, maybe. I'm not sure if I'm going to take it off-road without pedals uh, because uh, we have a lot of hills. But I will take this bike right now to the hilly area over here and to test it to the steep hill to see actually if it can climb. Right now I have on the battery 50 volt which already a little bit discharged and I rode on this bike already 
five miles so and the battery at 50 volt so it's not fully charged but i like the display it's so large and with uh, some information i need to find out what the temperature coming from because it's 118 degree so it's maybe from the battery maybe just sun heating up the display um, um, so let's go and see how it will perform so getting close to the hill you're gonna see it it's actually pretty steep and Wow, actually it is steep hill once you get on like close actually you can see this hill from far away because actually it's at, I think the one of the top is position in this area so I'm gonna try it I try many bikes over here and I'm gonna stop on stop sign and then we'll go as I do with all the bicycles testing so hopefully we'll make it i hope really hope so okay let's go so i'm going about 30 miles an hour right now 16 uh, speed dropping to 14 12 10 8 So last time I tested 1000 watt motors, it got up to the hill and I think uh, it was about top speed about 6 miles an hour, 8 miles an hour. Right now it says 7 miles an hour based on GPS, which is uh, decent and as long as it will make it, that's more important for me right now because some bicycle never made it uphill. It's still going actually seven miles an hour. It's not bad. So it's still pulling and you don't need pedals. You know what? It's made it seven miles an hour uphill. And so, okay, it's, it's, it is thousand watt motor. You don't really need pedals to go up to the steep hill. And I'm, hundred, and I'm 215 pounds. As you can see, it's beautiful, and yeah, I saw some cops, but they didn't say anything. Um, it made it really nice. I'm gonna test the brakes as well, go downhill right now, but before doing that, I'll take some pictures. Alright, so let's go downhill to see how fast, well, I won't go speed, but just to break in. just rolling so I can feel the smell of the brakes because 32 miles is kind of fast for this type of brakes so again it's mechanical brakes 32 miles a little bit too fast for the brakes and you can feel like smell of the braking but it stopped but it stopped about 30 meters or 20 meters away from the point I need so it takes a longer time to stop that's kind of normal with the mechanical brakes always happen like this so we tested today for speed which was making 29 miles an hour we tested uh, the brakes mechanical brakes stopping power as usual it's not uh, perfect for high speed bicycles but it does the job but not as good as the hydraulic brakes which i would recommend to upgrade to hydraulic brakes on this bicycle if you're planning to ride very fast which 29 miles an hour easy with me on top but without load they can go up to 35 miles an hour so it means if you are lighter than me you may reach much faster speed also uh it can climb the hill the steepest hill over here uh, about seven miles an hour which is pretty good uh you can upgrade the battery to larger one which available on the website and again this 10 percent discount uh, in description if you like this bicycle it's actually a very good price and it comes with a dual uh like signal lights which is also great as a safety and again if you like it check the link in the description so you'll save a lot of money and it's a fun bike to ride if you need pedals you can always upgrade to the pedals 
and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video